Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome back to our Rogue Trader playthrough where well, you may notice I've moved position ever so slightly. Why's that one got a big green flashy thing on it? I don't know why that one's got a big green flashy thing on it, sorry, distracted myself there. Well, you may notice I've moved from my capital down here. Um, nasty uh, void route, so I just did it offline because we, we had, a, had a fight. It was just a fairly generic fight versus the forces of chaos, as always seems to happen when you jump on anything which isn't a level one. Um, we are basically trying to head back to um, Footfall to complete this quest, and then we're gonna start working on the other things and explore the regions we've not explored yet a bit more fully. And maybe try and fight some fights up here, because like here we've not actually explored fully. I don't think we've explored this system actually, so let's visit it. Oh, I can say I seem to have lost my sound there, but it's come back now. I oh, don't know, no, we've definitely explored this system, man. If any devs are watching, a way of telling what planets and things you've explored at a glance would be quite cool. Um, so back to warp travel. Um, let's head here. Mm, we trust the navigator's talent. Yes, I would like to visit this system. Ooh, a destroyed ship. We'll go explore that soon. Ice world. There we go. Also, apparently there is a planet somewhere I can settle, I can colonize, so I want to find that, try and find that. Some more mining. Again, I'm out of re I don't have anything else to get resources with at the moment. Oh, let's repair my hull again after the battle with that void monster. Hmm. Ooh. Collect all. I mean, 14 to 18 isn't that good, but... It's very nice penetration on it, but I don't want it. Um... There you go, you're it. You can have a cloak. What's the difference? They're called different things, but they are the same. Nope, they are identical. Okay, back to the warp! So we're going to get down here, I want to work out the best route. Yep, that's fine. Let's just check if I've actually explored this system already, because a lot I just blitzed past. Yeah, I've definitely explored it, because I'm actually pulling materials off. Oh, it's this one with the Marauder Station, yeah. Hmm. This place is a death trap, by the way. I may go there at the end, but it's an absolute death trap. I also want to explore the to that one. Yeah, let's travel down to the Forgotten Twins. <clears throat> I think I've explored this system properly. I'm not sure.
Yeah, I've definitely uh, dealt with this place. Okay. Again, some I don't get why some are highlighted and some aren't. Let's go look at the others. Ah, so if it's highlighted, I've not scanned it. Nope. I don't know. Again, all this is due for change before the game comes live, so... I think I'll find I've already explored this one. Yes. I want to check something. Ah, so if they're highlight, if they're bold, if they're highlighted, brighter, not not highlighted, words failing me, I've visited them. <clears throat> No, that's because it's got something on it. There we go. So I have done this system. If it's got a visitable site, it always shows. This is a uh, winter scale realm. I've definitely been here before. Yes, Grantis. I want to get that space marine in my force at some point. Right, this is where we have a tricky bit. Basically, I'm going round in a big ass circle to get there. I hope there are other ways of getting insights. Um, of a warp uh, when the game comes out and just travel and exploration because you want to be able to certainly in the core you want to be able to bring some bit you know make some really solid mm, unknown ships we've definitely not explored here death to the heretics Into the, yeah, I was going to say, they look very chaos. Torpedoes locked. Fire the lance batteries. He will die. One more forward. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. The time has come. Another sound. Should have done this one earlier. Never mind. Hindsight. Reload. Leave the <laughs> oh, I was hoping to get them in one go. I'm actually going for the aft because I expect I'm, I'm expecting them to shoot past me. There we go. Ah, and then he doesn't. I don't need to be uh, tweaking my other things much. Basically, that other new ability I've got, I can uh, reduce the cooldown of other abilities, which is nice, but also. Not that. It's useful, but not. Can't wait until I can upgrade my ship, because I've got so many upgrades, but I can't up actually upgrade my ship yet. I think some of these combats will be much easier. I hope so, because some of the combats I've got are insane at the moment. Ooh, 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 shallow jump. Oh, that's cool.
<laughs> Finish it. So, so long as I've moved six, I can reload. Oh. Oh, because I've already used another ability. <laughs> but I can do that! Oh, I can't do her. Well, that's annoying. God damn chaos. Fine, everything's fine. No, I'm I'm not actually that worried. I actually think it's quite brave of them to take me on. There's no way in hell they were gonna ever beat my void ship. Which I suspect has a name, but I don't know. Some tilts in the water. Fire right now. Macro cannons, volley. You can face a different way, and my starboard shields again. Okay, here we go. Actually, then I should have probably tried to use the cooldown reduction to turn myself quicker again this turn. Oh, I forgot they can teleport. Like, get. Though it's put itself right into my torpedo range, which is brave of it. So, Helm. One, two, three, four, five, six. I know I'm going to probably get hit by their torpedoes, but it's not really that much of the worry. Reload! Close on them. There we go. <clears throat> Sorry, I've just realized something. I oh. sound will be back in a second, guys. I do apologize. There we go. Ah, oh, you get. Onward. I thought it would affect multiple shots. Bleed them. Fire right now. 
steal for torps. Drop my own. So I don't, let's jump at them. Ramming speed! If only I could. <clears throat> I really need to. Somebody, when this comes out, needs to mod it so that you play Battlefleet Gothic in these battles. Because that would be so goddamn cool. Did he just blow himself up? I believe he did. Boom. And the chaos scum are gone. But yeah, if somebody could mod it so that you could play Battlefleet Gothic, so that it just put you into Battlefleet Gothic, that'd be very cool. Right, let's explore this system and let's... I'm going to definitely quick save before I go for those definitely Eldar ships. Last time I fought normal Eldar, I got my ass kicked. Foulstone. Sounds like a named planet to me. So I don't know why I'm saving so much. I'm doing that paranoid saving every 10 seconds thing. You're facing enemies if you know, Aldari. Uh... I've just saved, so let's jump in and try this. Last time I fought normal Eldar, I died, so we'll see how this goes. They are insanely maneuverable. I'm not joking, last time they just, just ran circles around me, and, and I, I think I managed to kill one. I think it was offline. I wasn't online when I did it. I avoided that system because it just wasn't fun. But there were also a hell of a lot more than this. I mean, I'm just going to close. It's my best bet here, isn't it? And I'm going to jump past them in a second. Torpedoes locked. This one's going down. Another salvo. Ah! Of oh, shields, of oh, shields. There we go. <clears throat> so I basically just blitzed through them. Should have dropped my torps earlier in that run, though. Theirs won't get to me, but I'm going to miss them as well. I should have dropped mine about halfway down the route. But they are that manoeuvrable, and that's what the problem is with them. Oh yeah, and unlike the Dark Eldar, the Drukhari, they have shields. I mean, they are... I should know how they work. They're one of my favourite factions in Battlefleet Gothic. <clears throat> Ooh. Okay. That was foolish of you. Bring us round. There we go, so giving them some bad directioning, but it's still going to shoot at me. 
Though I thought Eldar could only shoot forward, so these guys seem to be able to shoot in every direction, which is a bit annoying. Because I remember my Eldar, when I played them, you just shot through, you, you positioned yourself stealthily, then just charged, shooting your lances as you ripped past them at full speed. Oh, I see more enemy torpedoes than me to rip past. Oh, that's perfect positioning for me, mate. I like him being in front of me because he's already weakened. Annihilate them. Good. Oh, that was a beauty of a hit, guys. Okay, that will be in range. Basically, I'm going to try and get a double hit on these guys. Another salvo. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. We'll see. Lay in the course. Oh, I can't reload yet. You get. Pocket jump. Aft shields. I can't do that. Okay. Port shields then. I wanted to do him, but I couldn't select, select where I think he was. We're doing okay. We're not doing as badly as I, I feared. Their torps are fast. Kill it! Damn it. The time has come. I'm almost certainly gonna get hit by theirs. Should have done the tops to be fair. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Ah. <clears throat> oh, okay, they didn't quite hit me. My shields are holding, which I'm, I'm a bit surprised by. There's a substantially less. There was some large Eldari ship last time I did this, and they were brutal. Top in the water. Fire the ah, perfect. And it took out its own tops. Another salvo. One more. So reducing the time on that cooldown on that, because all my cooldowns seem to be longer now. Oh, 
yeah. Nice. Eldari done with. Okay, we can say this place has a name. Lord Captain, we've received transmission from Falstone. It was sent by the members of the Order of the Hammer. Votaris, the Saint of Contagius, whose monastery is on the settlement. Or rather, used to be, some time ago, a transport vessel, the Naviki, the Navica, uploaded several thousand refugees from planet- Ah, I saw this mission earlier. We actually have a mission for here as well. Belonging to the rogue trader Winterscale. The Order of a Hammer was judged- uh, This uh, has judged this invasion to be an aggression. Oh, ask me for your protection. So, hang on. Oh, unloaded. Yeah, they're victims. I will resolve this conflict. Okay. Six score and eleven days after the feast of the passing of Nicomedes Kifi, the chief champion of the faith, disquieted Mard, the calm of the monastery, disquiet Mard, the uh, calm of the monastery of the Order of the Hammer. Countless tortured souls, steeped in fear, arrived on Faustone in a star bark. A great ap apostasy had befallen their home and turned them into abject wanderers seeking help and refuge. Their wicked and cruel captain, the owner of Vanavica, I think I met that, had betrayed them. Once unknowing souls in his care had made landfall on the world's surface, he most deviously recalled his shuttles and left, ridding himself of duty of care. Not knowing how they were to survive in Grand Falstone's grim wastelands, the forsaken people came to the monastery, and there they surrounded the walls. They hammered their fists on the gate and implored, and wailed, "Take us in, protect us!" <clears throat> and what was once a place of severity and grace uh, was now full of din and disorder, and all manner of things despicable. The interlopers brought with them worldly fruit. Uh, worldly fruitility and strife, and mayhap also the seeds of alluring blasphemies. If friendly heathens lurked in their mists, after a prayer, the brilliant Heraclitus hmm, turned the eye to the past, appealed to the great wisdom, ordered lethal force, welcomed them as guests. Unarmed and unarmoured, the brethren and sisters of the Order of a Hammer came forth to meet the strangers, carrying water and protein victuals and medicinal herbs and jugs of Prometheum. Why are they bringing jugs of Prometheum? Okay. Uh, they shared generous with guests, but there were too few and the strangers too many. The interlopers came to blow over, vi over Viennes and blood was spilt, and many were trampled or mauled in the stampede. Some of them, the dwellers of, some of them dwellers of the monastery, they fled beyond the walls, in with fear, and rang the vox alarm, shut the gate, and commanded armed guards to keep watch, slaying any who approached. A quarrel broke out. The hungry and sick lay siege to the monastery, begging for help in their spite. They blocked uh, the water collector, and un, an unpowered genitorium. The faithful in the meantime made ready to resist. And a miracle came to pass. The God Emperor sent his champion, his confidant, his right hand, the rogue chader of the blessed house von Valencius. May the light of his grace remain upon it forever. The blessed rogue chader. Mm. Extended the veil of protection. <clears throat> Humbly, the order of the hammer heeded the god emperor's confident and unsealed the airlocks. They opened the gate of its abode and brought forth gifts of virtue and relief and suffering to the ill stricken. 
After a prayer, the architect set to work. In accordance with the saints' teachings and the parameters set forth in the standard template construct, they erected spacious living quarters and sturdy fort walls, and planet and that walls for the planetary militia, and a spacious auditorium wherein trade and store and store goods and proud sensorium within the walls, walls clerks. It's basically we're building a town. And a new, yet a righteous way of life came to Foulstone, and the people rejoiced. Yay! I have a colony! Ah, no projects though. Yet. Ah, there we go. Nice! So, for St. Drusus, uses all of. The reward is all this. An uh, infernical? Ooh, that's just a basic flamer. The High Throne, the Ecclesiastical Capital of Cronus Expanse, or a Celestial Protector. A Celestial Protector for the planet, which takes a while to do. I like that, so I have to come back to build them. Technically, I've got a new item for my ship, but I can't use it. Nice! So that was a mission. I had a rumours, I think. See, there's lots of rumours I can do. Ooh. Interesting. Okay. Oh! That sounds like Necrons. Local God of Dorms, uh... Ah, it's an anomaly, but yeah. Okay. Okay, there we go. That I'm happy with. That was a good thing. We gained our extra colony. I was wondering where it was. Except... No, nothing in this system. So I think here was somewhere which had something. Oh, oh damn. Wrong way. Well, Lord Captain, the situation of Falstone requires your attention. A pilgrim probably declared St. Drusus sent some revelations from dreams. There are undocumented reports claiming he performed miracles. Okay. What is to be done about it? What do we know about the so-called prophet? Tibor Hike, a void builder from Footfall. Now he prefers to be called Brother Pure Voice. His first revelation came when he disembarked from the pilgrim ship on Falstone. His sermons are directed at commoners, appealing to their humility, humility and mercy. No anarchal pronunciations or radical deviations from the creed. Hey, Bins, the arch enemies lies. But the Emperor's miracles are a hundredfold. Okay, so doesn't say. True advocates of their faith are rare. Most preachers contending for said are ambitious liar. Hmm. Yeah, Undergo trial of purity. It will be done. And perished the next day, proving he was nothing but a liar. Let's make this easier. Okay, and I do want to go to this to the Imperium one at some point, so yeah. Hmm. To footfall. As we're going to be speaking to Adeptus Mechanicus. And we'll finally bring him.
willpower. Extra dodge, there we go. my rep with these guys. Wow, you need a lot of rep with some of these guys. I said I've got a lot of rep to, a lot of stuff to sell. Because I've not been doing this for a while. I have a lot of cargo, guys. A lot, a lot of cargo. Holy crap, I have a lot of cargo. I have been out in the void for a while, though half of this is off my own crew. I am going to point out, if you really wanted to get stuff easily, you could just, just kind of go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, uh, along a difficult walk, void route, and you'd get loads and loads of shit off your people, your own people you're fighting. And we're beginning to get lots of empty things now. There we go. Wow, I think I've crashed it. Oh, no, 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 no. Not quite enough to do anything. Anyway, I thought I had something for these guys. Uh... Yeah. yeah. Here's planetary data, which may be of interest. Data collected, of interest, significant, compliant. Reporting the Kappa Fred uh, supply lines ready to continue operation with the Von Valencia's dynasty in this. Okay. Confirmed. I wish to discharge the uh, mutual obligation. Under the contractual obligation, 34.76 terror cycles ago, the Explorator Constance Fleet received from... Uh, I hate reading these guys' stuff. Received it? And then didn't pay? Compensate, remunerate, settle accounts. Should I go on? The stipulation payment, recipient offering from the Constance Fleet can be made to the Von Valencia's assets at the current time. What payment can I expect? Uh, a unit is under good cycle of maintenance. Okay. Great creations of the Omnissiah, his blessed beneficence, which bestowed upon us complex... Yeah, I don't know. I confirm I am willing to accept. The request is accepted. Sacred machines will be loaded into the hold of your vessel. Okay. Follow my lead. So I can't talk to him anymore. Uh, duty of now Nobles. Arrange a reception for them. A new ruler. That's uh, not going to be something I'm going to have to do easily.
Okay, so anyway, that's where we're going to leave it for today. I do know where I want to go next. I want to go explore that ship we failed to right at the start. And then there's a bit more exploring. We've probably only got two or three episodes left of this with what's here. But I might find another big big story, bit of storyline to go. Um, considering this is an alpha, this has been a huge amount of storyline, guys. I mean, I've been playing for like hours of this already. So, yeah, this is really good. I'm really looking forward to the main game coming out, guys. As always, um... Thank you very much for watching. Please do like and subscribe if you are watching this and enjoy this sort of content. Uh, let me know what else you'd like to see, guys. Um, other RPG games. I'm really looking to get into more RPG games uh, on my channel. So let me know what sort of uh, what sort of ones you'd like me to be showing. Obviously, we do do a lot of Total War as well. And about 50% of you watching this will not be subscribed. So if you do enjoy it, please do subscribe, guys. And other than that, guys, as always, an extra special thank you as well to my channel members and patrons. That's MonsterBound, Philip F, Nose Nose, Andrew T, Protaru, Space Ace 475, Coding Monster, Jason Air, Egg, and Jared Horn. And thank you, everyone, for watching. Cheers all.